Kwanza niko na tatu kuna nuzi zangu tatu hatari <laughs> zenye nataka kuwatolea pale karibu na show. Ndio sasa mjae. Morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Nimesema zote kulingana na mwenye atakuwa naona ataona saa ngapi. Thank you so much for coming through uh, to this uh, press uh, I call it briefing. This is the online uh, fraternity media. Mmeshanyang'anya mainstream kazi kazi nzuri sana mnafanya thank you so much for coming through uh, maybe for the concerns that you had about my upcoming uh, biggest stand up comedy special ever to happen in this country uh, which is the tricky comedy circuit i'm so much excited about that and uh, at this point i welcome all the questions and reactions uh, pertaining to that okay yes Thank you so much to you for giving us this chance. You're welcome. At least uh we share story about everything. Now I yes. about the show you have in on that first. Yes. And uh, so many people have had the shows. Maybe utueleze kidogo. What are you going to do? Something different. Ama something unique kwa shows zako because we've had the same same thing that can happen when shows. A tricky comedy circuit is an event which uh, inataka ku separate boys from from men in the comedy industry nataka kuonyesha wase how serious comedy should be taken cause of late to tumekosa kuonyesha hiyo seriousness stand up comedy is a whole collection of art yenye inafaa kwa image simamia yenyewe yenye inafaa ipackageiwe in the right way na iuzwe na itulete uh, revenue that culture haijakuwa sana hapa Kenya. Let me explain it. Uh, the only thing which has happened in this country as, as, as far as comedy is concerned ni Churchill show. The only serious thing. Churchill show I will call it an experience an event because it's a collection of uh, what we call short uh, performances on stage, a lineup of around 20 comedians kuna kuanga na interviews whereby Churchill hosts uh, public figures on stage bado kuna musicians wanakuja kuperform so church show is not it's not just a comedy show that's why anaisemanga more than just comedy but now hakuna mtu mwenye amefanya stand up comedy peke yake exclusively where people come and enjoy and have the vibe of stand up comedy peke yake tuna check up for, for three, four hours mfululizo bila mbwembwe zingine za hapa kando and uh, i think that is the reason as to why audience yetu kidogo inakuwa na confused because ina expect tukiita comedy show bado tukuwe na musician hapo umeelewa so what i'm trying to do is that i want to create the first stand up comedy special in this country hapa Nairobi ndo tuanze ku create your culture why the culture is important is because inasaidia ku build individual brands for example it's mca tricky you, we want to start that culture of mca tricky can uh, anaweza invite audience ikuje iketi chini for 2 hours ni wachekeshe na to bond na ni grow kama MC Tiki mimi independently as one brand note that when you hear of a comedy show lazima upate upate line up ya wasanii 20 ndio watu wakuje and that is the difference between us Kenyans or else the Kenyan fraternity uh, the Kenyan community na outside Kenya if you look at the other countries that's how they they start people like uh, basket mouth people like akina uh, daliso that's how they start wakianza wanaanza kama msee anajiguru yeye mwenyewe kama brand and that's why unapatanga basket akisema tupatane arena fulani watu wanakuja because they are already used hapa kenya ni ngumu it's, it's, it's really happening so your culture it's a new venture that i want to do that you will be doing comedy specials in this country. Mm-hmm. So yes. what should uh, maybe people or rather your fans or your audience expect kwa show? Oh my goodness, my fans and audience should expect a different taste of uh, comedy from what they are used uh, to. If you look at tricky comedy circuit, ni may invite sijataka sana ku work na comedians wa hapa because uh, I didn't want to replicate Chachil show. Siko nataka niite line up ile ya Chachil ni walete hapa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i wanted them to have a taste of what is happening outside mm-hmm. that's why i have been, uh, invited comedians from uh, a comedian from nigeria niko na representative from sudan south sudan niko na uganda niko na tanzania because i want them to come and sit down and feel 
where comedy is from outside this country. Mm -hmm. Watch, waone, waone mali comedy imefikia hapo. So they will have a different taste, mm -hmm. or else we will serve them a different taste from what they have been used to around. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, that was the next question, because wakati uliyeka ili alayna ipali boko nyo mitenda uzaku watu alikuwa anasima kumba, because you have always seen Eric Omondi fighting for Kenya, Kenyans first, na pia watu anasima kumba you are not supporting our very own. Maybe, sijuka mwena his complaints, watu anasima you should have had more of Kenyans in the show. Thank you so much. I think, what is happening now, sasa Eric had to achieve stand-up comedy. He is doing so well in this activism. In it, wa... Activism. 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 <laughs> He's doing so well. <laughs> hey, a very good job. Na mpigia makofi sana. Sasa ju, ni kama hamefika mahali, haka wana, ah, hamefanya hii comedy for long, anafaa hende ya saidia uko kano, which is very good. Sasa ni wakati wetu, kila mtu wa concentrate na strength yaki. Let Eric handle the activism. Wacha hende atete watu unga ishuke chini. Hapa kando, unga ikiendelea kushuka. But Strick, don't you think we can buy sana kuweka shows na ukose kuweka even one of the comedians from Kenya? Like seriously, no, nimeweka, nimeweka. I have considered all that. When I was coming up with the lineup, I didn't want really to have a Kenyan comedian. Why? Because muna pata nanga na zizi pali chachu kisho kama Kenyan comedian. Why should I again repeat the same lineup? Watu si watasema, si chumoje basi chachu kisho. But just to have that, of course, lazima ninge kuwa na a brand na mwenye nimeweka pale kwa poster ni Mitch. Naye Mitch ni kwa sababu I am the one who, are, who have seen Mitch from scratch na nime grow na yeye. So nataka kumpea hii platform. Ndio at least pia yeye I feel hope. So Mitch will be represented in Kenya. Then pia nikacheck hivi nikaangalia in my lineup lazima pia nikuwe na Dave. Siwezi kuwa na wanaume tu peke yake kwa lineup mzima. Nikaangalia hivi I have settled for Nasra for a reason that I won't tell you. Uh-uh. But yeah. let me uh, <laughs> let me ask you this question. I yes. saw people uh walikuwa wanauliza mbona haukuweka demo on Facebook. How this lady demo anaitwa demo on Facebook. She she has a good talent anafanya kazi kwa and people are requesting if you can consider mm. at least umweke kwa list. Hata kama watafika basi ma demo wawili. I don't know if you'll consider that. Thank you so much. So tulipo kwa tunaanza hii press mliniuliza swali. Yes. What what do I want to give people? Yes. Easy show niliamka tu nikaamua acha nifanye tu show. There is some specific objective that I want to achieve. Na hiyo specific objectives, iko na specifications zaki. And some of the specifications, ni decisions kama za nani anafaya perform, na nani anafaya kuperform. So, at that point, tuta agree, tutafanya na wale wenye nimeeka. For a reason. Yes. Na mjini wazo katujuza how many people are you targeting? For example, tuliona time Eric Omondi ya lisema anataka kujaza kasarani. Now, hii same mbo anataka kujaza, anataka kuingiza watu wangapi. Na pingine watu ambao pia wata kuwa able to streaming avenue yote ya kuweza kutazama live. Oh, very good question. Every brand has its own way to reach its audience and its own goals. A tricky comedy circuit is not a is not a hype event it's not a, a hype i mean it's not a mbwembe thing that i want to show people i can feel a, 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 a stadium or anything a tricky comedy circuit is a is a very well packaged kind of event that i want to produce it with different levels that now after producing it tunezauzia the outside world na waone what we do as Kenyans when it comes to comedy. So my target here paka hata nashangaa nitaweka wapi? My auditorium hapa Nairobi Cinema can only hold 850. But the, by at the rate at which the tickets zinaenda nashangaa wakipita tutafanya nini but tutaona. By the by the last week tutakuwa tumeshauza tiko zote. Alafu ticket yeah. how much? Ticket 1000 for regular, 2500 for VIP. But regular zimeenda vingi. Wewe well, VIP kia wa Kenya wapendi hizo sio za VIP but it's okay it's understandable so ali hiyo auditorium itakuimejaa of course 850 and that will be enough for me for the production you, you also uh, uh, note that ukitaka ku produce show vizuri pia ufai kuwa na nikipata audience ya 4000 people i won't be able to manage them for the production 
lazima ni kuna crowd yenye anaweza control and that's one of the reasons why i chose Nairobi cinema kama venue okay. yes uh, mc shiki pia was among the first uh, comedians about shay kuona kufanya uh, a one man show the, mm. the first show the first kufanya show. Yes. Kwa tricky sana yeah. and of course nataka kujua because tumeona kutita ameenda amezunguka south africa mm. are you looking also at doing something like a world tour for one man show a very good question a tricky comedy circuit it happen in Nairobi cinema peke yake if you look at the guys have invited over they are representing countries in east and central africa mm-hmm. so it's a whole team that we are working together um after we do a tricky comedy circuit in nairobi immediately from april i will be doing my first desne- uh, designated uh, tour uganda where i will be hosted by dr hilary mwenye anakuja pia huko after that uh, comedian phronesis from nigeria will be hosting us in nigeria and that will be the cycle so i have a lineup of uh, i can call it a world tour after the first episode mm-hmm. yes okay na pingine pia swali lingine ambalo ningependa kufahamu imekuwa ni muda sana tumeona tricky ameingia sana kwenye kazi that is comedy radio atujaona more of your personal life ni kwa nini pingine hey personal life <laughs> very interesting every brand inakwanga na inakwanga na vitu inakaaga chini inasema i want to achieve this for me i have my own goals for my brand and uh, i think whatever i am doing is already enough to add another issue i do radio every day i am doing online content every day and i am also in school so nikianza kuongeza usocialite nitakuwa nime overfeed you understand those brands that you are seeing there zenye zime introduce hiyo kitu nimeita socialite it's because they are not that busy i'm too busy to start introducing my personal life niko shule naenda eh, radio tena na create online content tena baadaye mnaniona na baby wangu nimemshika hivi tunakula chipo no no i have no that time and again as a brand i know what i want to achieve in that your your publicity your personal life yangu because i know eh, it's very it's a very volatile zone I know it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So are you single or am I talking? I am dating. Uh, I am dating a very beautiful girl. <laughs> and hiyo siku ya show mtamuona. Si sita mu introduce but mtamuona. Ah. Ule msichana atakuwa anasikia sikia vibaya mkinishika shika. Huyo ndio mtafute sasa mtamuona. And like your crowd. Eh? Like your crowd. Hata behind the scenes, behind the scenes mtamuona. Yes. Yeah, uh, swali nyingine ambalo pengine ningependa kuuliza because for the longest time tumeju, tumeona MC Tricky, Kotheru, Baby, they were very close. Lakini siku hizi kama ule ukaribu umepungua. Sijui kuna kitu kilifanyika ama kulendaje? No, Ru is busy with her life. Of course after shule, si unamwona huko France, sijui akifanya nini. I'm also busy. Uh, we are very we are still close with Ru. And in fact she will be attending the show. Akikuja hiyo siku muleta microphone mumuulize hizo maswali <laughs> but she still my very close friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Talking about your story yako kwenda kufanya comedy tour. Mm. What if a Kenyan comedian wants to go to tag you along kufanya the same thing? Ah, uh, Kenyan comedian twende na yeye. Mm-hmm. Oh, ni mbebe twende na yeye tu. Akitaka. Akitaka. Eh. Ntampea platform of course. Mm-hmm. Siezi mnyima. Yes. Okay, pia ni na swali hapa hivi. Yes. Ah, uh, kwanza tuambie kama comedy inalipa kisha tuambie kuna gari ambayo mtu anaweza kunapa 1.5 million eh. Uh, watu wanasema nikipindi sana. Eh, kwa hiyo tuambie kulingana na wewe unaona. Comedy inalipa. Comedy inalipa. But we want to take it to a higher level. Bado watu comedy peke yake. Watu bado wanadharau dharau tu. But one day watakuja kuelewa hizi vitu tunafanya. Because I trust that uh, we should be getting to the levels of earning from our art at our tukiwa 50 side akina dev dev chapel na kina chris rock they are making money at their 50s you understand that so it all depends on umeji package aje ndio umeke do na nimekuja ku notice kitu pesa ya usanii uki package vizuri ile nzuri inakujanga at later stages wakati wenye umeshaunda brand strong hii pesa ya kwanza ni ni moto wa karatasi ni pesa tu ile ya kukuchanganya uache. Na hapo ndio brand mingi zi umeblanda. 
ukianza leo kesho umeshakuwa celeb umeshanunua kasubaru ka kwanza sasa ushikiki unasahau content au shikiki ukisha print hudi imeandikwa jina yako hapa na uvae na unapaka una kasubaru mahali unasahau content unasahau kuunda jokes unasahau everything hapo ndo unaanguka and i want to keep that in mind and that's why i'm doing these things because sitaki kusahau ile kitu yenye ilinipea ikanifanya niomoke about butita jajibu ati butita anaona nini gari 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 ati gari hapo sana 5 million mbona hakuna haja ukose kwenda mbinguni butita sababu ya gari tu mbinguni hatuta tu vya gari so it should be maanisha asi yake butita gari ya 5 million gari ya 5 million butita atakari yenyewe itakataa kuwaka <laughs> anyway but butita is doing good okay there is this but uh, so, pressure but you will get there okay. <laughs> mtu akinua gari ya 5 million you won't need to ask me mtajua tu okay, okay. there is this young man who you know Kenyans fell in love with MC Tricky yule kijana alikuwa na vama koti alikuwa mm. amepashatia red na kashot flani are we looking at seeing that boy perform here in the a kwa hii at Tricky comedy circuit because Kenyans really miss him so that that Tricky will be performing of course yeah. but not from outside uh-huh. yes we want to we, we are growing at least stagnate hapo yeah. uh, audience always ina kuangalia reaction zake yeah. na huwezi wa control you accept all of them yeah. so we have to really accept uh, growth lazima to grow ndio pia mimi niomoke mnishikilie ni mnipush outside Kenya nianze kupenya uh, in the other audience in the inje okay tricky uh, kuna huyu msanii anaitwa Botros na Butros. yes lid zake zimekuwa exposed na kwa comment section nilikuwa naona ukitagiwa at next zenye zinakuwa exposed ni za MC Tricky kwanza niko na tatu kuna nuzi zangu tatu hatari <laughs> zenye nataka kuwatolea pale karibu na show ndio sasa mjae hii culture ya ya ku, ya ku ya audience yetu ku celebrate wakati tume trip kidogo ilitoka wapi hey, but you know that leo hii mm-hmm. ukaenda uka photoshop mtu anafanana na tricky nudes mahali tu unajua kuna watu wameiva photoshop na zi na ulik leo hivi people will talk about him so tricky more than mm-hmm. more than niki achieve kitu kingine better mkiachilia content ah hata watu wa, they don't give an mm-hmm. f about content but wewe nudi yako tu itokee ndo kidogo kuna tatu nimewawekea muhimu sana so mwenyewe utazitoa tu hata kugoje kutoka kwa watu mtazitoa mwenyewe uh-huh. za nikiwa class 7 <laughs> so <laughs> ndio tuonge but it's, it's social media you uh-huh. can't control some of these things uh-huh. but uh, butros is a good talent uh-huh. to see to see angalia ka kitu so, get yeah. uh, let's support talent more than hype in wakati mtu ana trip uh-huh. uh, so i have two questions yes first yeah. i'd like to know who is your father in the comedy industry mm. and second come mm. speculations that you are dating to dikitri so please address that to this bonaki anatembea na yeye ama we bonaki anatembea na trudi siezi siezi date trudi but kuna wakati trudi do you mean by comedy father who you look up to in the comedy industry um Of course I will appreciate Chachi every day because uh, yeye ndo alinipea hiyo hiyo kampenyo. That one you cannot overlook Chachi. But in terms of uh, maybe to learn more about uh, performance and all that I look up to several guys from outside. Akina John Mulani from uh, Chicago. Au ni majama wana ni inspire ni kiwatch nikiona venye wanaunda show zao. I learn a lot. Yes. And so about this tricky mm. circuit, how long um, do you expect it to be in a Fakukwaya? How long am I with something that you'll be doing from time to time? This tricky comedy circuit, that's why it's called a circuit. It's not a one event thing. After this, I'll do a world tour and come back with episode 2 or else season 2 of this tricky circuit, probably December. Yes. Okay, so Tricky umekuwa in the limelight and of course you have influence and uh juzi juzi tu tuliona BN akitoa maoni yake kuhusu wa ruling ambayo ilianza kufanywa na the High Court of Kenya about the LGBTQ community. So, <laughs> wengi wangetaka wenge kujua labda msimamo wako cuz yeye alisema hana shida nayo. Sijui kwako wewe. Unajua uh, nimeamkia nikaona at Facebook ya Sonko ime imekuwa disable. Sababu aliongea kuhusu history. Mm-hmm. 
Eh jamani. Unataka um, social media zangu ziende na hapo ndo nakulia. Hii utaweka kwa yako, utaweka kwa yetu. Naombeka kwa yetu. It's okay. So what do you want to know about Maybe you stand about that. Sabu imekosa whole debate pale huko online. Mm. My personal stand is that um uh, I can't advocate for it. That is my personal one. Mm-hmm. Ukitaka kunichukia wewe nichukie. Mm-hmm. But that is the fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sawa sawa mimi tukimalizia. Yes. A message to A message to I have one question okay. for you. Yes. Now, uh, since now you are brand by Chachi kama hiyo team yenu na yeye katika. No, Chachi la kona bado Chachi show inaendelea. Mm-hmm. But for these initiatives yeye sitaka kumchosha tena. I am standing by my own. I have my own team. I have everything by my own. So yeah. Unajua wakati mwingine una lazima ugrow bana. Uwezi shida umeshikilia mzazi. Yeah. I have one last, question. one last question. And are there people you are mentoring in the comedy industry and kama kuna mtu wa kuko engine they want you to be their mentor how will they access you? Thank you so much. I of course if you follow me on social media every time I'm creating content I'm always supporting young talents. Na mnawajua hata Mitch is one of them and he will be performing this day. Na kama unataka ku join the tricky sana entertainment you are so much welcome ukuje tu group pamoja. Yes. Thank you sana MC Tricky. Yes. Maneno yake ya mwisho pingine kwa mashabiki wako. So I, I will start by thanking all of them of course for supporting my brand. Uh, now is the seventh year. Uh, tangu ni pop into this industry. Industry ya comedy sio mchezo. You have seen tulijoin wengi lakini I want to appreciate God that at least MC Tricky is relevant enough. Watu wa wajanisahau. I want to appreciate them because they have an option of forgetting me and trashing me but uh, they have always supported me in when i was doing my first uh, special comedy 2019 walikam by the if you are here this auditorium was full i was surprised so i would just want to urge them once again to come through and support this thing i'm looking forward to having a very well produced show full of content because god willing this will be the first stand up comedy special to be shown in a global platform. Amen. Thank you so much. Asante. Thank you so much.